Hello. Good day, everybody. This is Tariq Khan, your teacher for Marketing 1004. So let's start working on our marketing chapter number one. I'd like to ask a question. How many people do know about marketing? So some people in the class would know something about marketing. They have taken it in plus two, grade 12, or um, a diploma for marketing. Some people do completely do not know anything about marketing. Don't worry, everybody. Why? Because we are going to cover everything from basics. So everybody would be uh, working with me in this class chapter by chapter for the next 14 weeks. So let's start working with marketing. What is marketing? So this is what marketing slides will be available to you. You have to go through this marketing slides and read the components on it and make some notes. I have given you the notes in the other sheet as well. But again, the way you are going to do is buy yourself a highlighter and start highlighting the important parts if you are able to print it. If not, then that's fine. You can read the notes uh, which would be provided to you in the same folder in Word document. But the most important thing, the notes, you have to read the note first in order to complete the quiz. Right after this, there would be a quiz available to you in the same folder where you have to read the case study and complete the quiz. So let's start working on it. What is marketing? Marketing and introduction. This is my first slide. Second slide. Chapter number one, what are we talking about? Chapter number one, marketing, creating and capturing customer value. Then uh, this chapter will cover about marketing. And this is what the marketing definition in here in this slide. So let's talk about it. This is our, what is our book says about marketing. But I do have some basics information about marketing. So everybody would be known about what is marketing, where are we using it, and how are we using it. So let's talk about that first. Okay, so that's marketing MKT1004. First of all, in marketing, there would be a term used all the time, and you have heard it lots of time. What is a product? Product or product or good is the same term it has the same meaning what is the meaning of that anything which you can touch <clears throat> means it has to be a tangible item any example comes to mind for example you have books in front of you you have your calculators you have your mobile phone with you cars shoes shirts whatever you can touch that is called a product or a good, or the simple uh, meaning of that is called tangible. So this is what I would do. I read it, I understand it, and I highlight it. Simple as that, right? So you are going to do the same thing because that will be helping you out in order to do the quiz and complete the quiz successfully. Next one, next term, what we are going to talk about is called service. What is a service? Let's talk about service. Anything which you cannot touch and see, it's called intangible. Okay. Um, John comes to ask me, sir, what is the example for it? Let's suppose your mobile phone service. So phone, your mobile phone is a product because you can touch it. But service, you cannot touch it. Why? And on the phone, you have your mobile service. For example, Fido, where you're making a phone call, Chatters, Rogers, Virgin, BSNL, Airtel, all of these ones are services. For example, you are getting a service from me. I am your teacher. You can touch me. I am a human being. I'm not a product. But what, do you, what kind of a service are you getting from me? Teaching services. You're going to go to the bank, give out your bank card to the teller and ask for money. So she's not the one who's giving her money to you. She's taking your card, swipe it, you put your PIN number, and then she's giving you the money. That is the service she's providing it to you, which is 
intangible. You can't see her service. You can see the money, but you cannot see her service. That is intangible. Doctor's example. Doctors are providing you services. So these are all examples of products and service. I read it. I highlight it. Simple as that. Then the next term comes to mind is called customer. Who is a customer? Any ideas? Let's take a look. A person who is willing to buy but has not paid the money yet. So some people are new to Canada, right? Everybody know what is Tim Hortons? Guys, Tim Hortons is the same which we have back in India. It's called a coffee cafe. So Tim Hortons is a coffee cafe. You go there, stand in a line, and go to the cashier and ask for a coffee. So the moment you are standing inside Tim Hortons or outside Tim Hortons or at home, but you have not bought the coffee yet, you had not paid for your coffee, you are the customer of Tim Hortons. So let's read the definition again and try to understand. A person who is willing to buy, I am willing to buy, but I have not paid the money yet. I am a customer. I do understand the definition and I highlight it. Okay, so Karan comes to me, asks me, sir, the person who is willing to buy and had paid money, who is he? Okay, here's the next one. A person who is willing to buy and has paid money for it. So you were standing in a line <clears throat> buying for a coffee and then you pay you go to the cashier told her that you want to have a uh, french vanilla she said yeah no problem two dollars or two dollars 99 cents or 285 whatever the money is you paid her the money now you're willing to buy that's why you are there and you paid the money for your coffee that's become a client so i read it i highlight it consumer who's a consumer simple everybody knows about it the name says it all the person who consumed it or used the product or the other service so in this case tim hortons when you are start drinking your coffee you are consuming it so you become a consumer right so i read it i understood it and i highlighted marketing now marketing has two words we were talking about marketing. So these are the terms which we are going to work on in the marketing definition. That's why I covered it before the word marketing. Marketing have two words. One is called market and one is called ing. Let's discuss and try to understand the market word first. What is the definition of a market? Definition of a market. A place where customer. Do we understand the customer? Right in here, guys. Right in here. Customer client do we understand the word client right in here consumer do we understand the word consumer absolutely right up here consumer a buyer everybody understand what is a buyer the person who likes to buy and a seller everybody understand what is who is a seller who wants to sell get together comes together at one place to buy what do you mean buy when you pay money, you buy something to buy, sell. When you give out money, you uh, when, when you want to sell something, you will accept money and give that item or product to somebody that is called selling. Exchange and barter. The products. Do we understand the products? Absolutely, we do understand the products right in here. Anything which you can touch. And service. Do we understand the service? Yes. Anything which you cannot touch and see, service, is called market. So let's understand or let's read it one more time. What is the meaning of our definition of market? A place where customer, client, consumer, buyer, and seller get together to buy, sell, exchange. I have to explain that just in a second. And barter the products and services is called market. So, Karen comes to me, sir, what do you mean by exchange? Let's talk about exchange. 
guys this is exchange means exchange right in here one side has to be product and one side has to be money that is called exchange there is money involved in an exchange process so it's right in here again in the case of service exchange service and there's money involved in here so exchange always have money on one side one side has to be service or a product and one side has to be money then we would like to understand the barter word what is barter barter there's no money in here guys at all there's no money as you can see in any figure no money let's understand it barter products to products barter service to service barter products to service barter service to products where's the money there's no money involved in this process what is this called this is called barter exchange we do have money on one side whenever we want to buy shoes you are giving them the money and getting the shoes in exchange that is called exchange this is not the this is not the regular exchange where you are going to go somewhere and exchange something with somebody. No, this is exchange when you are going to buy, sell, exchange. That's what exchange means. One side has to be money. Definition now, we understand it. So let's read it one more time. A place where customer, client, consumer, buyer, and seller get together to buy, sell, exchange, and barter. Exchange and barter what products and services is called market easy enough right so let's talk about the next one what is needs okay what are the needs so this is what the definition for market let's go back to our chapter and let's take a look at it that was the marketing definition which is given to you in a very simple way and in a very broad way but definition of the book what is the definition of the book let's take a look at here as well definition of the book managing profitable customer relationships so we will talk about in just a second what is we understand what is the word customer the person who is willing to buy but not paid the money yet and we will talk about relationship in just a second next one creating value for customers building strong strong relationships creating value for customers building a strong relationship capture value from customers in return what is the goals of it attracting new customers meaning you guys because you come to canada new or the people new to canada when they go to Tim Hortons, you are new customers to Tim Hortons because you just came to Canada a month ago, two months ago, four months ago, six months ago. So you are new to Canada. You are a new customers. And they also want to keep us. For example, I am in this country for 20 years. Somebody is in this country for one year, for two years, five years, right? They want to keep their old customers as well. So attracting new customers keeping and growing the current customer base as well that's how they do business they want new customers and they want the existing customers as well so we understand the broad definitions the simple definitions and the book definition of marketing as well let's move on next one it will talk about <clears throat> Next one, as you can see on your screen, next one it will talk about needs, wants, and demands. So let's discuss the word needs, wants, and demands to understand it better. Okay, so let's discuss it. What is needs? Let's talk about it. What are the needs? Needs things you cannot live without perfect okay so anything which you can think of the things which you cannot live without do you have anything in mind absolutely somebody say water absolutely you cannot live without water somebody said food 
Absolutely, there is food which you cannot live without. Anything else comes to mind? Shelter. Absolutely. But Karan comes to me, sir. I have seen people in India living under the bridge. What is their house? I did not say house, Karan. I said the word shelter. The people who are living under the bridge, that is their shelter. Uh, there is no such thing as house in this definition. It's called shelter. So shelter is the third option. Then clothing and water, food, shelter, clothing, and anything which you can think of. Very important. Air, guys. Air. Air, or we called it here oxygen. Can you live without oxygen? Absolutely not. So these are the five components, things you cannot live without. But Karan is smart. Karan said, no, sir, I cannot live without my phone. Oops. Okay. So, Karan, if you cannot live without your phone, can you drink your phone? The answer is no. Can you eat your phone? The answer is no. Can you live in your phone? Yeah, there are some pictures, some photos in your phone, but you cannot physically live in the phone. It's not a shelter. Can you wear your phone? You cannot. Can you breathe your phone? The answer is no. So if the things or the products or the goods are not qualify within this five parameters, that means it's not a need. So what is it? The next definition is called wants. So let's talk about the definition. Things you cannot, you can live without. Perfect. Simple definition. Give me an example. For example, your mobile phone your cars right your internet connection how many people do not have internet still no internet in the world tons lots of people so i do understand this i highlight it i do understand this i highlight it right next one <clears throat> demands some of all wants so for example these are my wants these are my wants phone, cars, and internet. I can't live without them, but these are my wants. When I do have a buying power, means I can buy my phone, I can buy a car, I can buy an internet connection. So, some of all of my wants with buying power becomes demand. Right? For example, new iPhone will be coming in September. If you have money, right you say okay no problem i want to buy iphone 12. so that's my want you can live without your iphone your iphone 12. but if you have money absolutely you can buy it sum of all wants with buying power called demands so here's the three basic example three basic definitions of needs wants and demands let's go back to our chapter we completed the word needs wants and demands so highlight these three in here that we understand needs wants and demands so here is the book definition we'll be telling you about the needs what are the needs the physical uh, deprived of physical physical you need clothing you need water you, you can touch food social and individual basics karen comes to me sir what do you mean individual basics karen i cannot eat your food you have to eat your own i cannot drink my your water or you cannot drink my water i cannot breathe your ear or my ear so we have we all have individual needs food water clothing uh, shelter. So these are all my individual basic needs. Let's move to wants. Want needs influenced by culture and personality. For example, Karan would like to use iPhones. That's his personality. Okay. I, instead of Karan, my personality is I always use note. So that means I need to make some notes. I need a pen so that my want is a samsung note so i always use samsung notes why because that is my want according to my personality 
demands sum of one so sum of all of these with the buying power so for example i do need iphone 12 which is coming in uh in september i have the money i gone into the store tell them in september here's the money give me iphone 12. i have the buying power so whenever you see the word buying power buying power that means that's demand and that's your exam question as well so i highlighted the exam question next one again same thing needs wants demands products we understand service we understand next one in here we talked about exchange what is exchange guys anybody have an idea exchange one side has to be money so for example as you can see in this picture a person is sitting in the restaurant ordering a food so she at the end having the food she's going to pay the money to the restaurant so she is exchanging money with the food so this is what exchange is with exchange what she's making she is making a relationship so Karen comes to me sir what do you mean she's making a relationship relationship everybody have a relationship yes or no answer is yes for example you have mom dad brother sister uncle aunt right we're not talking about those human relationship we're talking about here right now she's buying she's ordering food so she's a customer she would exchange at the end when she already finished her food then she will pay then when she will pay she become a client when she consumes the food she becomes a consumer so she is making a customer relationship with the restaurant right now when she will pay, she becomes a client. So she would be making a client relationship. And when she consumes her food, she becomes a consumer. So she's making a consumer relationship. So through exchange, we make relationships. Through a relationship, if we like the restaurant food, if we like our Tim Hortons coffee, we, we go back again. We pay money, we make a relationship, we go back again. We make a relationship, we go back again. So this is how these things go in circle. So this is what relationship is. Let's talk about relationship. Relationships. We all have relationship with our products and services called customer relationship, client relationship, consumer relationship. So here we highlight this client relationship, consumer relationship, right? Tim Hortons coffee shop, we go there every day or after two days, why? because we have customer we like the coffee we have the customer relationship when we did not pay we have a customer relationship when we pay client relationship and then when we are drinking our coffee eating our food eating donut using the service we become a consumer relationship with the importance simple as that absolutely now next one in here so this is what exchange and relationship next slide we talked about is called market so book definition of a market right i have given you an elaborate or a broad definition of market so let's talk about the market definition right from the book what book says about the market definition book is telling us about buyers do we understand the word buyer in our definition who's a buyer the person who wants to buy do we understand what the word product what is a product Karen Karen tells me sir product is something which we can touch tangible right so we understand the first uh, term according to the book buyers of a product next one common wants okay Karen what is wants wants are something which we can live without according to our definition we understand that needs what are needs things which we cannot live without food water shelter air oxygen right so 
common wants and needs satisfied through exchange. Oh, wow, there's a word exchange. What is exchange means, guys? One side has to be product and one side has to be money. There must be a money in this process called exchange. Let's take a look at this picture, this photo here. So we're all human beings. We're going to buy a car. How? Through exchange. Car is a want. We want to eat food, burgers, cookies, right? Needs. We exchange money through for food. We buy clothing through exchange. We buy our cell phone. We buy a ring. We buy house. We buy purse. We buy all of these ones, wants and needs satisfied through exchange. Do we understand the definition of the book for the market? The answer is yes. Next one. <clears throat> So, again, the process of a relationship, which is right in here, a relationship and the exchange, relationship and the exchange. What do we call that? Marketing is both a process. So, marketing is a process and it's a cycle, guys right it's a process and a cycles to do what the process involves identifying customer needs and developing products to satisfy these needs the cycle involves the mutual value generated between buyer and a seller do we understand this yes we highlight this part right think about a recent purchase you have made and identify the value delivered to you and return to the company from whom the purchase was made Think beyond the mere exchange of money for the product. So again, this ex this example explain the whole process. We bought something, identify the value, we go back to the company, exchange, we made a relationship, we bought something, purchase was made, exchange, we made uh, exchange money for the product. Okay, simple as that. Next one marketing management so mar before marketing management we have to understand what is the target market so let's talk about the target market first this is the book definition we will go back and we talk about the target market first we would understand we would like to understand what is a target market target what is target means guys target means something aim object which we have to achieve to target market what is the definition what customer will we serve meaning which customer which we would like to serve for example here's an example if an iphone accessory store can i buy accessory for samsung for example if i have a iphone store uh, and at that iphone store we have iphone covers iphone uh, battery uh, iphone um, covers uh, their charging cords and everything right can i buy something from that store for samsung because i am a samsung user the answer is no for oppo no for vivo no the answer is no guys why because this person would open this store for the iphone users only target market Another example, if I have a pure vegetarian restaurant, I do not serve meat at all. I do not serve non-veg food at all. A person who likes to have a non-veg food, can he buy something from my, from my restaurant? The answer is simple, no. Why? Because my target market is the people, the customer I like to serve is pure vegetarian. That's called target market. All right. Next one, value proposition. What is value proposition, guys? Value proposition is how can we best serve these customers? simple but let's understand it example a regular way to fo order food is to go to the restaurant and eat in so the lady which shows in the picture she gone into the restaurant in a normal days and sit down and eat inside the restaurant but what about in this pandemic situation 
Everybody knows about this special situation and pandemic situation. Can you sit in the restaurant and eat inside the restaurant right now? The answer is no. Why? Because we have some special situation right now. The answer is no. But can we order food? Can we eat that restaurant food? Answer is yes. How? By pick it up food from drive through or deliver it to your home. Right? It's considered to add a value proposition to your business. So they thought about, yes, it, this is a difficult time, this, this uh, special situation, a pandemic situation. How can we best serve our customer by providing food for pickup or deliver to their homes? Called value proposition for that business. Let's take a look at the book definition. Book definition says target market. What customers will we serve? Okay, we highlight this part. Why? Because we read it, we do understand it now. And then how can we best serve these customers? Why? Value proposition. Because these both are exam questions, guys. Okay, next one. We talk about market segmentation and target market. Let's talk about it in a very simple terms so the people who do not have any marketing background they do understand the word marketing segmentation and also the target marketing again let's take a look marketing segmentation dividing the market into groups of customers so whenever we have the word segmentation as soon as the word segmentation comes, the first thing comes to mind is called divide. This is automatically should comes to your mind, the word divide. So let's take a look at it. Here's an example. We have tons and lots of smartphones in the market, right? We have tons of smartphones in the market. It could be different kind of smartphones. So what did we do? This is the whole smartphone market. I divide that market into smaller pieces. So Samsung Galaxy, is it a smartphone? Absolutely. So we divide into Samsung's. Apple iPhones, Apple is a smartphone, absolutely, but different iPhones. iPhone 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and now 11 and 12. Oppos, Vivos. Google Pixels, one, two, three, four, and we have Chinese phones as well. I divide the whole market into smaller pieces called market segmentation. Okay, let's take a look of target market. Out of these whole market, out of these whole market, I want to work with only Apple phones, right? Or Apple, Apple products. So what did we do? We select one. We select one. So we select only one market. Out of the whole market, we select one, process, one item or one company to work with called target. What is target means, guys? Target means aim. Target means object. Target means one simple or one aim to hit. Target. So I chose apple store or apple products what can we get from apple we can get iphones we can get ipads we can get macbooks anything and everything to do with apple can i buy a samsung tv absolutely not from apple store but can i buy an iphone absolutely can i buy an ipad yes can i buy a macbook yes can i buy an apple tv yes can i buy a apple watch yes absolutely so i target only one this is called target marketing. Let's take a look at the book definition. Market segmentation, dividing market into groups of customers. I divide the whole market and then target market, selecting one or more segments to serve. Let's take a look at this picture. What does this picture mean? So market segmentation. I divide the market segmentation into cars, into shoes, into uh, clothing, into phones, market segmentation. Then I select 
this car out of car companies i do have honda toyota mercedes benz lamborghinis all of these ones so i select this car which is honda which is mercedes benz and bought one car called target market i bought iphone i bought uh mk purse means target market right so i specifically chose one target to serve that is called target market next one called value proposition we already know what is value proposition value proposition means that you are adding a value for the customer for example the benefits from promise to deliver to consumers differentiate brands within the marketplace right so this is what is called value proposition i do understand it i highlight these two means my value proposition right so these are, this is my first chapter um, i hope that you enjoyed this chapter you understand the terms uh, it's there would be a second part for this chapter as well after completing these two parts we'll be having a quiz so please do go through these material online which is available on schoology take a look at or listen to this video take a look at this video and please try to understand how are we working on our chapters we do understand one by one each definition pros, um, proposition target market and then that will help us to do our read our quiz first and then complete our quiz online i hope you understand i will see you in next class thank you very much have a great